Greetings, Fright Nights. It's your old pal, Count Jackula. And I'm the Horror Guru. And we have a pink filter now. Yeah. Pink? It's fucking 80s it up. Yeah. Oh, man. We just saw the Vicious Brothers' new latest film, Extraterrestrial. Now, quick capsule review. If you want to see a movie that is all about aliens, menacing people, and running around making beep, beep noises and doing stupid shit, this is the movie for you. It is fantastic that way. In fact, I will spoiler one thing, which is they never give a clear motivation for the aliens. But the thing is, unlike a lot of other movies where that doesn't work, it only allows this movie to go completely off the chain and yes. be hilarious. Yes, like a, a little bit of fair warning. This movie is is a very by the numbers um, alien cabin in the woods movie. It, I yeah, guess that yeah, is a subgenre. Yeah, it's it's basically it's a slasher movie, but the slashers are alien grays. Yes, yes. Um, and it's very by the numbers. You kind of like you're kind of two steps ahead of what they're doing most of the time. But it's actually kind of welcome here. Yeah, it is. You know, very because it do, it's not ashamed of it. It just does it and does it right in your face. In a sense, it's kind of like. Like, like the Vicious Brothers to me kind of feel like the Michael Bay of horror directors. Yeah, yeah, like everything... the Michael Bay for, of horror, like for for real, for like the good stuff. Yeah. that that guy can do. Yeah, and unlike Michael Bay, who lets that get in, uh, get, interfere with the story. This time, the Vicious Brothers have basically let gone. All right, this is the story. We don't know how to tell a story really well, but we can. Paint by numbers on it. Yes. So and we'll we do can that. do it in your face. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do it really blatantly. We're going to be really in your face. And then we're just going to take all the stupid stuff a step further. Yes. Because that's what they love to do. Ever since Grave Encounters 2, they have <laughs> loved just doing stupid shit. But the thing that's great about Extraterrestrial over uh grave encounters 2 is that this one is shot beautifully yeah yeah yeah. this is not a found footage movie there's some sequences where they cut to like the the kids on their cameras like recording shit but it's not a found footage movie this is a normal movie from start to finish and it fucking looks gorgeous i don't know it's who really they, beautiful yeah I, I didn't pay attention to who did the cinematography but whoever they did needs to be hired for more shit because yeah the cinematographer <laughs> and the lighting crew were, yes. were amazing fucking great it's a really beautiful looking movie and it's another one of those movies that is more beautiful than it has any right to be yes <laughs> you know and that's those are the movies i love because you're like every frame is just so beautiful but it's about aliens coming down to anal probe people yes spoiler alert spoiler alert anal probing fucking full full frontal oh uh, full behind all i guess yeah anal probing <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's it's oh not all God. the time, but the few times that they do it, you're oh, like, oh, when it happens, it is oof, it is mm, mm, mwah, yeah, mwah. yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It's it's almost like it's almost shot like porn, yeah, like, quite literally like porn, and you're just like. Oh my God, why didn't anyone else think of doing this? I, I can't think of an alien invasion movie that went straight for the anal probing and didn't do the anal probing in the way that, um, that a lot of alien invasion movies do where the anal probing is done while everyone's like hallucinating and they like they can't see what's going on and like the aliens lift up something but you, can, you can't kind of, can't really see it and it's like all blurry and then they wake up the next morning and their ass hurts. But like, yeah. <laughs> in this movie, it's like, nah, 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 man. We're gonna fucking shoot this gorgeously it's going to be right in the fucking frame here. Here's the butt cheeks right here. Yeah. 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 You're just like, this is the dumbest thing. It's I love so this gloriously <laughs> dumb. I. So look, if you want, if you need, if you're one of those people who's like, well, I need to know why the aliens came down and did anything. Fuck off. <laughs> but yeah, you're not going to enjoy this movie. The movie makes no explanation for why the alien alien motivation is irrelevant. They're just like, they're just going to do what aliens do. Now, here's the interesting thing. The aliens are beautifully unmotivated, but here's how you can tell that it's that they did it on purpose, which is all of the human characters are perfectly motivated. Yes. Their motivations are perfectly clear. Even characters that you think are going to survive the whole movie, but then are killed off immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like even minor characters that they could easily have just let just be there and die. They give motivation. They give pathos. They give um. They give a, a background story too, so that when they die, you're not expecting it. 
you know? Yeah, many of the kills are actually quite surprising. Yes, yes. Um, especially as they reveal more and more what the aliens can do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's the... That's the Crypt Capsule review, but now we're going to get into the spoilers and what happens in this movie. All right. Spoilers. Okay, okay. This movie is about a, um, I think she's like like a college student. Yeah, like college or recent college grad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. High school graduate about to go off to college. Oh, about to go off to college. Yeah, um, was that's a plot point. That's right. That's right. With her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's thinking about going off to one place, and she's thinking about going off to another, but she hasn't told him yet. Yeah. Um because it might end their relationship. Meanwhile, he's thinking about proposing to her. Yeah. And, it, and in a flipping the, the script, the girl is the one afraid of commitment. Yes, yes. She's the one that's completely afraid um, because because she's got she's got issues with her dad. She's the one that has daddy issues in this one. Yeah, she has <laughs> issues with her father and her mother. And it's very obvious that like the her parents are get are divorced and this is breaking her up. They established that like immediately. Yeah, and then they're and and they're basically planning on going vacation before they go off to college um to uh to their to her parents' cabin in the woods because hey, we gotta have another cabin in the woods movie because because the cabin in the woods they're now back in. Um <laughs> And uh, he invites a whole bunch of friends uh, yep. that she didn't expect because she was kind of thinking about breaking up with him. And he was thinking about proposing for, to her. And he thought about bringing the friends so they could have a surprise party after the uh, after proposal. But she's thinking about breaking up with him. So it all you could. Yeah, it, that whole situation <laughs> completely falls apart. You know, um, meanwhile, as this is all going on, there's a sheriff around town who's investigating a missing girl who at the opening of the movie is literally abducted in a telephone booth, which if there's a telephone booth. Go yeah, with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're out in the middle of nowhere. It has a telephone booth that works. <laughs> well, it's a great visual when they pull it up and it just comes crashing down. Yeah. It's, it's fucking. <laughs> It looks great. The, eff uh, the effects in this movie are not the greatest effects you will ever see, but they are more than serviceable. Yeah, yeah well, they use them well. Like, like, like the CG is pretty, pretty iffy most of the time, but it's used very well, and the practical effects they do is just great. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, well, like they actually destroy shit. Yes. Or there's actually a guy in a costume being. Yep, an alien. yep. That's you can really tell good. there's an actual gray walking around, and that's the other thing. The aliens in this are just straight up the gray aliens. Yeah, like like every single cliche you can think of about the alien Area Fifty One mythos is in this movie. Yeah, including alien hybrids. <laughs> yes, alien hybrids and just straight up flying saucers. Oh my god, that was the most beautiful thing. <laughs> because you're like, okay, they're gonna have some cool, it unique. No, 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 just discs with lights on them. That's that's what they Absolutely. are. Absolutely, they, they they're complete, complete like fucking hubcaps with LED lights. Absolutely, on them. it's so great. So the sheriff is searching for this missing girl, and uh, meanwhile, back at the cabin, uh, the proposal goes awry. Uh, the the girl's real sad. They get in a fight, and then while they're in a fight, a fucking fucking uh, fucking saucer just crash lands. Like on, off, off in the woods, right by their house, and they go out to see it, and just gloriously, just this nice, beautiful circle, yeah. of fucking, fucking thing. And uh, from then on, uh, the kids are freaking out. There's aliens on the loose. Um, uh, the girl uh, takes the takes her dad's shotgun from the basement and shoots one of them, which they actually set up in the beginning. Yes, they set you up know, that he they... had a shotgun because he calls he calls her before she goes off to the cabin. He's like, "Hey, I want you to get some things for me. I need I need to get, I want to get some of my old fishing rods and I want I want to get my shotgun and all this stuff." She's like, "Okay, okay." It's very blatant. It's very in your face, yeah, and you know face. it's gonna come back. Yeah, but but, but the details of that of the uh, the shotgun setup were kind of beautiful because you'd normally be like, "Oh, he's okay. He's got a shotgun. Can't he just get another one?" No, it turns out it's a really fucking nice shotgun yes. in a case. Yes, <laughs> yes, and she kicks ass with it. That's, yeah, yeah. That's she does how to use it because the daddy's gone. She she used to go hunting with her dad so she is a fucking expert with that fucking that fucking rifle which means there's gonna be some dead motherfucking aliens in this um and there is one she shoots one but it turns out that the united states government supposedly um had some sort of deal with the aliens where they can abduct whoever they want and they'll leave them alone so that the aliens will leave the government alone to you know run, run the people um but if someone were to engage at that point it's war yeah <laughs> And she shot one of the aliens, and so they engage. And this is all told to us by a conspiracy theorist they run into yeah, in the this, woods. And this is the surprise of the movie. Yes. Now, talk about things that should be too good for this movie, but are in it. There is a, the, they have the old man character, like, don't go in there, I gotta warn you. Who is this weird, like, ex-Vietnam 
hippie pot grower that they run into played by Michael Ironside. Fuck yeah, the guy who you think would be playing like the military general, but he's playing the, the hippie. Yeah. It's fucking great because he's having a blast in this movie. Like he feels like he had just like taken like two shots of whiskey before every every scene and that he's just he's just riding on high. Yeah. <laughs> every 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 moment with him is like Michael Ironside's intense. But the thing I was actually really amazed at is that they, for lack of a better way of doing it, they let him do actual actor stuff. Yes, yes. yeah. Once again, he's he a layers character. this character. Yes. And you're like, wow, this elevates everything. The acting in Extraterrestrial is actually really good across the board. But of course, Michael Ironside's being Michael Ironside is cut above. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, he has an awesome scene where he goes to fight the aliens with his, like, was it an MC-16? It was... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was some sort of automatic rifle. It was some sort yeah. of automatic rifle. Um, I can't quite remember which which type. MC-AK something. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's not very clear. All you know is that it shoots a lot of bullets really fast. You know, um, he has he has an engagement with the aliens. Uh, kids start getting, like, abducted straight up. Um, there's one guy who tries to chain himself to a tree and the alien abduction beam comes down and next shot you see is just the arm hanging off the thing. Yeah. Centered. <laughs> fucking beautiful. Um, kids try to try to barricade in the house themselves in the house. Fucking night of living dead style. Um, the sheriff shows up, doesn't believe them at first, then does believe them. And then fucking shit goes awry. Yeah. When they reveal that the aliens have telekinetic powers and they can have mind control powers. So if an alien's looking at you and doing this, they can make you do whatever the fuck they want. So they just straight up, after they set up the sheriff, after the sheriff has just like established all his motivation and just had this really emotional scene, just going, no, I'm going to find this girl. The alien immediately makes him blow his own head off. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not expecting it. It's a glorious surprise. <laughs> Yeah, it's I wow. The God that that movie. Okay, now something else, something about the Vicious Brothers that I'm like I'm noticing the pattern at this uh, point. Which is I said this when we briefly mentioned Grave Encounters 2 in the Unfriended vlog. Okay. But it's really true in extraterrestrial. It is very obvious the Vicious Brothers love Carnosaur. <laughs> Carnosaur and Return of the Living and Dead. And Return of the Living Dead, yeah. <laughs> because this movie does that ending, and if you've seen Carnosaur, you know what I'm talking about. It's just like, because you get to the end of the movie, you think, oh, everything's going to be okay. And then the military shows up, and I'm like, oh, please, please, please. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the military oh, is killing us. Main characters are dying. Like the 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 the, 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 the two main characters, the one that the one that proposed to the other and the girl that that was afraid of the commitment, are fucking dying in like a bloody fashion. It's all in slow motion. Like he's putting the ring on her finger. No, no, no. she takes the oh, ring out right. of his pocket and puts it on and holds his hand. And she dies. It's like if they're like, gonna die, we're oh gonna die, Mary. Oh my god, that is so fucking amazing. It's so amazing. It's so dumb. Immediately cut to just the stark. Poof, poof. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Man, this movie is really mean spirited, but it super. is in such a glorious way. <laughs> movie is super mean, but it's these so uh, great. in this movie more than their other two. I feel like the Vicious Brothers live up to that name. Yeah, very much. <laughs> Absolutely, and I this is no hands down best movie they've done. Oh fuck yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> like I, I I liked Grave Encounters. I thought Grave Encounters had a lot of problems, mainly stemming from it trying to be a found footage film. Um, Grave Encounters 2 is really gloriously stupid, and I enjoy it for that, but this movie, I feel like they finally come into their own, and now I'm looking forward to whatever they do yeah, next. Yeah, I'm now, <laughs> I, 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 I do have to agree with, um, with, with Linda, though, who said that the Vicious Brothers and the Soska Sisters need to get together and do a movie called Fratricide. Oh, man. <laughs> the Twisted Vicious. The Twisted Vicious. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that movie would be. I want to see it. I want to see it. 